Honorable Chair, I'll start with the uh, question by Senator Shakila. I had not responded to it. Um, and to the question on what can be done to reduce the depreciation of the Kenya shilling, I, I had alluded to what needs to be done earlier, which is either short term is we need to have a vibrant and functioning uh, interbank market so that they can be free flow of uh, forex. And number two is um, the aspect of um, export diversification so that we can have more exports into our country. Number three would be if we can be able to have to create buffers both on our forex uh, exchange, even even on our you know food security, because you realize that most of the imports we've been doing are are actually food related items. So if we can have the relevant interventions as a country, so that we do not import a lot of food items, then we can be able to manage the uh, depreciation of the. Kenya shilling, because then we'll not be demanding so much uh, f foreign uh, uh, currency out of the country to, to purchase um, to, to purchase uh, food items. The other uh, thing, of course, is um, to, to, to ensure that um, we have stability, and, and that is the role of Central Bank, to ensure that there is stability in the forex market. And stability in the forex market does not imply that central bank will be targeting a specific rate, but it implies that you are uh, ensuring that the market, there is no volatility, that there is stability, and so the interest rate uh, will, will, will be uh, managed and will not depreciate uh, so much. To the second question from uh, Senator Shakila is, um, what can be done, it, it's still on the exchange rate, because right now there is huge difference between what is being quoted at the central bank, according to the Honorable Senator, and what is what clients are getting possibly in the uh, commercial banks. And, and, and I think, um, as, as I had said, if we have an interbank uh, forex market that's working, we will not see this scenario because the, the scenario we are in right now is not even allowable because uh, in IMF actually will not allow a diversion of over 5% between what is being quoted by Central Bank and what is happening in the, in, in the, in, in the commercial banks. And so for us to, to, to ensure that the Kenya shilling is appreciating, I will still go back to the uh, reasons that I have given uh, above on, on, on the, first, uh, the, the first question. To the question from uh, Honorable uh, Benjamin Lakatu, who is the Vice Chair of the Finance Committee, um, on the status of the monetary union uh, within the East African community. I had the privilege to work as the principal secretary of EAC. And um, according to the monetary union protocol, the East African community is supposed to be having a single currency by the year 2024. This is because the monetary union protocol was signed, I think it was in 2013, and so the, it was a 10 year period. The status right now is that um, there are several institutions that are supposed to be established, which were which which were supposed to prepare the the ground for an East African um, East African Central Bank, and 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 one of these institution we we have an we, we are supposed to have an institution that. that We'll look at the statistics, another one on surveillance, and the, more importantly, the East African Monetary Institute. In 2019, the East African Legislative 
assembly enacted um, a bill that um, that was supposed to that, that actually um, made it possible for the secretariat to identify the country that is supposed to host the East African Monetary Institute. And so the secretariat working in the other partner states are in the process of identifying which country is supposed to host the East African Monetary Institute. And I recall that um, five countries actually um, expressed interest, and Kenya was one of them, and I think Rwanda, Tanzania, and I think, I think Burundi and, and, and Uganda. Um, and, and so the process of identifying the host country is in place, and we hope that possibly, even if we are behind schedule, that one time we shall have a single currency within the East African community. Uh, to the second question by the Honorable Member uh, on whether we can have, whether we foresee that the, through the African uh, tra uh, free trade area, we can also have a single currency within Africa. And I think that question, the Honorable Committee and the Honorable House can be able to put it more into perspective on how do we ensure as, as a country probably we play a critical role to ensure that, yes, we are fast in bringing that conversation and making it alive. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. You've been joined by two honorable members that joined us in the